In this video, I want to talk about how stationary batteries are transforming the energy grid and real estate. To understand the value of stationary storage, you have to understand how the grid works. You have one central power producer typically in an area, and they may be getting that energy from multiple sources, whether it be gas, coal, solar, hydro, all of that gets pumped into one central place and then distributed out towards its customers. The only problem with that is that it makes it incredibly susceptible to disruption. If that power provider goes down, everyone loses power. What I think we'll start to see is this proliferation of microgrids where everyone is their own power producer. So let's say you're in an area that has a lot of sunshine. You've got solar to collect that energy during the day and storing that energy in stationary batteries in your house. This allows you to collect that energy for when the sun is not shining. So if and when the power goes out, you have your own mini power station. You can use it to power your house, or you can use it to send back to the grid so that everyone collectively can have power. There are several benefits to a micro grid. One of them is power redundancy. If your power generation is done across tens of thousands of homes, it is less susceptible to disruption. Peak shaving is another benefit of microgrids. It allows power providers to generate electricity that's really inexpensive, stored in batteries, and then during peak times, for example, in the morning when people are getting ready, and in the evening when people are getting home from work, they can use that inexpensive energy to distribute. Grid energy independence is another benefit of microgrids. It allows homeowners to operate independently of the grid should it go down. If you are generating your own energy by way of solar and batteries, it allows you to be self-sustaining. And for those that are driven by environmental factors, this grid energy independence allows you to generate energy from renewables. And for electric vehicle owners, this removes that criticism from people saying that electric vehicles are powered by the grid, which is powered by coal or natural gas. In this case, if you've got your own microgrid at your house, you are very likely powering your car with renewable energies. And when we do see extreme weather events like what we just saw in California, these microgrids allow residents to produce power and send it back into the grid allowing the homeowner to make money. The program that PG&E has set up in California allows residents to get paid for generating energy and sending it back to the grid to the tune of $2 per kilowatt hour. So during these extreme weather events, when the grid is particularly strained, you as a micro grid can produce energy and contribute towards the larger problem of a strained grid. As temperatures get more extreme, being your own microgrid will be fundamental to keeping the lights on and living the lifestyle that you're used to. And last, as a real estate professional during the day, having your own microgrid builds equity in your house. If the neighborhood's power goes out and you're the only house on the block that has the lights on, this then becomes an advantage for you, an appeal. So at a certain point, people will recognize that being your own mini power producer in the neighborhood will be an appeal. And certainly as electric vehicles become more common, having this backup generator, this assuredness that you've got the power to charge your car and get around will also be a double benefit. And as I mentioned before, being able to power your vehicle by sunshine is a driver for some people. And I want to mention that if you're in the United States, the federal government is actually encouraging you to invest into these microgrids with the Inflation Reduction Act that just passed. Not only do you get a 30% tax credit for installing solar on your roof, but it also applies to this stationary battery storage. So if you want to become energy independent as a homeowner, make money during extreme weather events and power your house and your vehicle by sunshine, microgrids are a really, really good thing to consider, especially with the financial tax incentives here in the US. Microgrids are a really, really good way to do this. And 
it's becoming more financially advantageous, more than it ever has been. My name is Sean Mitchell with All Things EV. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love for you to sign off in the comments. Do you already have a microgrid at your house? Are you considering one? Sign off in the comments below, and I'll catch you on the next video.